The 84-page performance audit was focused on pandemic-related pay for GovGuam workers between March 14 and May 11 of 2020, the first two months of the public health emergency declaration by the governor. In particular, the OPA report highlighted some $2.5 million in double pay for GPA and GWA employees and $10.4 million paid out in deferential pay to employees of 45 different departments and agencies on top of the regular pay. Of that $10.4 million, the OPA says 26 departments and agencies paid 25% differential pay, totaling $2 million, while 34 departments and agencies paid out a total of $4.9 million in what the report calls other pay. The agencies also paid out 15 and 10% differential pay, totaling more than $1.5 million. But the report also goes on to identify 54 unclassified employees, including department and agency heads and elected and appointed officials, who received $176,000 in COVID-related compensation. The OPA says this is an apparent violation of Guam law, which prohibits bonus payments for unclassified employees. However, the OPA says federal appropriations allowed the governor to enforce a differential pay policy. In fact, $29 million of the $118 million in CARES Act funding Guam received was budgeted for COVID pay for public safety, health, and human services. The governor issued an executive order at the time implementing a differential pay policy for employees working in those areas. The policy identified staggered percentages based on the degree of exposure to the virus. Public Auditor B.J. Cruz is seeking an Attorney General's opinion, and A.G. Levin Camacho has advised that his office is, quote, currently involved in pending litigation, which may clarify the issues. Meanwhile, both GPA and GWA have also responded to Cruz, defending their use of double pay. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.